and that's PPC. Remember, this is one of South Africa's oldest companies. It's a cement producer. About a decade ago, it decided aggressively to start buying assets in countries like Zimbabwe, the DRC, Ethiopia. That put its balance sheet, which was previously regarded as quite lazy, in other <laughs> words, you know, too much cash, now it's got too little. They had to do an emergency rights issue, they got a downgrade, the debt was all sorts of trouble. Seven billion rands worth of market cap is all that's left. Price to earnings ratio shows up as 63.5, not paying dividends currently, doesn't have a CEO currently either. Yeah, yeah. so with PPC, it's really been a double whammy. There's the five year chart. Yeah. So you can see it was at 50 rands a share in November 2014. Uh, well, maybe it was long ago than that. That doesn't sound right. I remember it being at 50 rand. Yeah, yeah, it must it have was, been yeah. before in 27 or something. Anyway, it's in a world of pain, currently trading at 4 rand 50. Oh, no, no, I'm talking nonsense. Yes, 4 rand 40 current share price. Mm. With PPC, it's been a, 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 a double whammy, as I said. You know, the African strategy has consumed a lot of cash mm -hmm. and is a much longer term strategy. But locally, they've faced tremendous headwinds uh, from um, f the likes of Dangotti, for example, with yep. Sapaku Cement. Uh, and the fact that construction activity in South Africa is basically ground to a halt. Rather muted. Because uh, a lot of cement would have been used in you know, building power stations and so on, but that's largely running through. And then on the consumer end, there's been a bit of a depressed in terms of sales of um, you know, cement there too. Yeah. But locally also they're trying to potentially merge with Afrosam, which is another one of their competitors that's in all sorts of trouble. Yeah, they've tried this a few times before. Mm. I think once, at least once that I can, yeah. I can remember. And uh, you know, PPC was quite adamant that we don't need to do that. Uh, but I mean, nowadays with the share trading at less than five rand, no CEO. Mm. Um, you know, the, the a few years ago, you'll remember there was that uh, whole boardroom uh, when uh, Ketsa Gordon will, will, was ousted when, and the board backed his financial director. So uh, also not Triforce, good. Yeah. So yeah. it was uh, Romano. Yeah. It it it's come through a very difficult period, I think, in terms of the industry they're involved yep. in, the geographies they're involved in, yep. and the management. Time's up, so we've <laughs> got to go. This one looks like a not hot. Not hot for We the don't time like turnaround stories as a rule, you know, <laughs> until you see the turnaround.